National organizer of the Sri Lanka Pudujana Perumana, Basil Raj Paksa, requested for a clean people's mandate to form a new constitution suitable for the country. He expressed the following views at the party office located in Nelum Mavata in Bhattaramulla. The biggest issue at hand is not having a proper opposition. People are opposing other people, but it is difficult to find something called an opposition. There is no one to oppose us externally. Our issues are created internally. Not only the 19th Amendment to the Constitution, we will be happy of to forming a suitable constitution for this country. This constitution was formed in 1976. There have been 19 amendments after that. We ask the people to give us their clear mandate to form a constitution that is not under anyone. Otherwise, we will end up being hostages to other people. There is no one to be responsible for the 19th Amendment. No, that door does not exist anymore in our party. The door existed in 2005 and 2015. Give us a clear majority. If he had said that, there must be some truth to it. He does not make false claims. After our government came into power, we realized that the previous regime had made various agreements and reached various MOUs. That was not limited to the property or national resources. Various other kinds of agreements were signed. We cannot abolish international agreements all of a sudden. We are attempting to make certain amendments that will please both parties. But the constitution itself has granted special authority to the international agreements. To change that, we need the two-third majority. Therefore, we trust that the people will give us the power so that we can make the necessary changes. A final decision will be reached only after a broad discussion with the public adhering to the recommendations given by the committee that was appointed to study this compact. Our attention is focused on the conditions we have to deal with in the MCC compact. But security matters have been discussed with countries like the US. In that case, we are not the only country. We have held discussions with party leaders and with the president regarding this. We are ready to work with those parties who are protecting their identity. But I would like to see more people from the SLPP would be elected. But as an alliance, all of us are contesting under the flower bud. All of them are talented, so the people have to choose the more talented ones. No, I don't mean it like that. You vote for the SLPP. Preferential vote is given to the person. I ask the people to use all three of their preferential votes. People have the right to choose the person they think seems the best. There can be a difference between what I like and what the people like. But most of the time, the people like what I like. I don't think there is such a need if the people elect the right people to parliament, but the party must be ready to make any sacrifice to safeguard itself and the people. If we are to rise, we need to work together. If not, we won't be able to build this country. I don't think a budget for 2020 will be presented after we come into power on the 6th, as there is limited time. The first budget will be presented in November of 2021. From there, we have to engage in building this country for the coming three to four years. If someone says that Basil Rajapaksa is a US citizen and he will support the US in signing these agreements and in other activities, how will you answer such a claim? My motherland is Sri Lanka. 
I serve Sri Lanka at present. Dual citizenship won't be a problem. I had a dual citizenship when I went to parliament after obtaining the most number of votes from the Gampa district. <laughs> Thank you.